Welcome to our lecture online. Here's another interesting problem where we have a piece of wood that has a density of 600 kilograms per cubic meter and at the bottom we attach a piece of lead that has a density of 11,340 kilograms per cubic meter. They give us the dimensions of the wood, a height of 0.5 meters, a length of 0.2 meters, a width of 0.02 meters, and they're asking us what should be the volume of the lead attached to the bottom of the wood in such a way that the wood will reach just at the very at the very top will be equal, even with the liquid that it's displayed that it's uh, placed in of course the liquid is water so how much lead do we attach to the bottom so that the wood will sink so that it just even with the water at the very top any more lead it would sink to the bottom any less lead the wood would stick out of the water how much volume of lead is required well, we need a strategy there, but it looks like the buoyancy force is going to equal the weight of the displaced water by the wood and the displaced water by the lead. And that buoyancy force must equal the total weight of the wood and the lead combined. So what we could say is that the buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the wood plus the weight of the lead. And of course, the buoyancy force is going to equal the the weight of the displaced liquid or it's going to be the rho vg of the liquid that was displaced by the wood plus the rho vg of the liquid that was displaced by the lead and that must equal the weight of the wood plus the weight of the lead. All right. Now we know the weight of the wood because we can calculate it. We know the dimensions of the wood. We know how big the volume of the wood, but we don't know the volume of the lead. So this is the volume of the wood that's known. This is the volume of the lead that's known. So what we can do is we can, um, we can what we, uh, factor out the density of the liquid times G multiplied times the volume of the wood plus the volume of the lead. Now the volume of the wood can be calculated, the volume of the lead that is not known. This is equal to the mg of the wood plus the mg of the lead. Now the lead, we don't know the volume, so we can write as the density times volume times g of the lead. Now right away we can simplify it by dividing both sides of the equation by g, so we don't need g. The mass of the wood, well, you know what? We're going to write this as the density times the volume of the wood. Because that's known. The volume of the lead is not known. That's the only unknown right here. And then we have the unknown right here. So what we're going to do here is calculate the volume of the lead from that equation. All right. Let's see here what we can do. So coming up here, we have, I'm going to remultiply that out, so we have the density of the lead times the volume of the liquid times the volume of the wood plus the density of the liquid times the volume of the lead equals the density of the, um, of the wood times the volume of the wood. That's all known, plus the density of the lead times the volume of the lead, which is not known. So we're trying to solve for the volume of the lead since everything else is known. Okay, so that means we can write this as the density of the liquid, volume of the lead, minus density of the lead, times volume of the lead. That equals density of the, of the wood times volume of the wood. Then we have to subtract from that the density of the liquid, times the volume of the wood. Now both of these two quantities are going to be negative because this is bigger than this and this is bigger than that, but that's okay. Two negatives will come out to be a positive. So now we can say that the volume of the lead is equal to the density of the wood times the volume of the wood minus the density of the liquid times the volume of the wood divided by the density of the liquid minus the density of the lead. And now we have an equation that allows me to find the volume of the lead. 
the volume of the lead is equal to density of the wood, 600. Volume of the wood, well, that's going to be 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.02. So it's the volume of the wood minus the density of the liquid, it's water, times the volume of the wood, which is going to be the same value again. So it's going to be 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.02. I guess I could have factored it out and divide the whole thing by the density of the liquid, which is 1,000, minus the density of the lead, which is 13,000, oh, not 13,000, but 11,340. Okay, now I'm ready to calculate this. Okay, 600 minus 1,000, that's minus 400, times 0.5, times 0.2, times 0 0.02. Okay. I'm going to write out the intermediate value, so it makes a little bit more sense. So I have the volume of the lead is equal to, in the numerator, I end up with a minus 0 0.8 divided by the denominator, 1,000 minus 11,340 minus 10,340 equals the volume of the lead is equal to 7.737 times 10 to the minus 5, and that, of course, would be in cubic meters. I kept a few extra significant figures. We could simply say 7.74 is probably a better way to write it. There we go. Times 10 to minus 5 cubic meters. That's the volume of lead necessary to bring the wood down to the point where the top of the wood is even with the water level. And that is how it's done.